You are watching MTG Cribs on MTGO Academy featuring Ryan Cribs. Hello and welcome. Today I'll be joining a modern daily event with a pretty sweet Mono Blue Tron deck. Um, this deck's been doing pretty well at the hands of a Shock Troopa. He's been top 80 in premier events with it. And he's even won a couple, so his deck, this deck list shows up all the time whenever I look for lists. And it changes, and this is like one of the more recent lists I found, so I wanted to try it out and see how it works. Um, Tron's one of my favorite archetypes. I used to play it back, I think it was like during the standard with 9th edition. It was really fun. You used to like Bugard and Hellkites and uh, Demon Fires and Spell Burst people, so it was pretty sweet. So this deck's um, not like normal Tron decks, like the red-green Tron decks, which are all in on Tron. Um, it plays Tron, and it plays Expedition Maps um, to ramp into fatties like Worm Coil Engine, Mind Slaver, Platinum Angel, Sundering Titan. But it also can play like a min rangey control deck. We have Reman, Cyclonic Rift, Thirst for Knowledge, Condescend, Repeal, Spell Burst. And what I like about this deck is like if you don't have Tron, you can still have like a turn 4 Worm Coil. You can go like Talisman of Dominance into Solemn into Worm Coil. Which is pretty sweet, so it's not all in. You can just still play a normal game, whereas in like red green Tron, if you don't have Tron, like half your deck is dead and just doesn't do anything and you're just like cycling and trying to get there. But this deck can just do just fine. So I think we went over most of the deck. We got like one Snapcaster Mage, uh flashbacks and spells. We got treasure mages to tutor up our fatties, one fabricate to get any artifact in case we need like a talisman or oblivion stone. Uh, Thirst for Knowledge, Solemns, uh, Mind Slaver. It's one of my favorite cards. Remember, remember when this card got printed and I drafted it during the first uh, Mirrodin draft I ever did? It was so fun. It's just a really fun card. There's nothing quite like it. I know there's a couple more effects. There's even one in Standard now that control the player's next turn, and it's just uh, just fun. We got Platinum Angel, a Sundering Titan, Repeals, Condescends, and then the mana base, uh, a bunch of islands, the 12 Tron lands, one Tectonic Edge, one Academy Ruins to get back our artifacts to mind sliver lock people and then one of borrow which is a uh, pretty nice it's a blue source that doesn't get killed by sundering titan also if you don't draw a land you can make your land drop that turn still add mana so it's pretty nice then we got a hodgepodge of cards in the sideboard one aetherize four dismembers a ghost quarter a repeal a snapcaster mage spell pierces spell snare another worm coil and then squelches i'm really skeptical skeptical about this card it counterbates uh, counters an activated ability and then you draw a card. So it's pretty good against like the black green mid-range decks. You counter fetch land, counter Lily on an activation, counter attack edge. So I haven't had a chance to bring it in yet, but I definitely don't think it's as good as playing three in the sideboard, but we'll see. So here's our list and we're just gonna try it out.